Oh, I got one. Got him. <laughs> yes. Oh, geez. He got me hung up. Dude, this might be big. Hey, yo, folks. What's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment these popping up down below. So, guys, go ahead and make that subscribe button turn gray so you can be in next video's comment of the day. Today is day one of the 2021 videos. We plan on bringing you guys, like, higher quality and the most videos we can bring you guys this year i know we just ended that 30 day streak and trust me guys we are just getting started here on the fishing norm channel and we're gonna keep on bringing you guys the best videos we possibly can cooler ideas more trips this year fishing with more people it's gonna be a ton of fun but anyways in today's video day one i still gotta catch my first fish of this year i decided you know i have some awesome subscribers around here in the area and these two in particular are probably the best bass fishermen. I see more big bass on their Instagrams than my own Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, at Fishing with Norm. But I see more big bass on their Instagrams than anybody else is in the town. Even like the old, like just hammers out here that can just slam like Jackson and catch big ones. They're catching a lot of big fish and they're 13 and 14 years old. So what I thought would be a cool deal today is to go kind of 2v1 against them. See if I can take them on. It's going to be embarrassing for me. I am. The second place state champion of Florida 2016 out of like 186 boats. No big deal. Pretty much came in second and third every single tournament senior year. That's besides the point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's besides the point. But your boy Norm has won a few tournaments, has come in second and third in a few tournaments. So I consider myself, you know, like slightly above average, but not like by any means like a professional fisherman. But these two kids are pretty good. I think they're going to give me a run for my money today. Let's go ahead and introduce you guys to them real quick. Hey guys, I'm um, I'm Neil. This pond over here, I've been fishing for about two years. The biggest fish I've caught out of there personally is a nine pounder. I catch eight to nines out of there. The biggest fish I've seen in there was about a 12 to 13 pound bass. A dude caught on his dock with a live shiner. What I use in there usually is a uh, a chartreuse and white chatterbait, just like this one. And I also use a speed worm, obviously. That's oh, fade yeah. ever. <laughs> um, sometimes rattle traps, jigs work too. Yeah, they love it in there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yo, what's up guys? Kobe T Outdoors here. I'm 13, my biggest bass is nine and a half. I'm gonna be throwing the Corrado DC today with these uh, Junebug 7.5 inch speed worms. So uh, yeah, we're gonna slay with those today. And uh, the plan is just to get up in the grass and on the banks and hopefully catch a five plus. So let's do it. Yo, what's up guys? It's me. Norm, fishing YouTuber extraordinaire, tying on, uh, you guys guessed it, a speed worm, June bug. I think we're all gonna be throwing the same thing probably. Never fished this lake before, but I think the goal is, you guys wanna do biggest fish, most fish, what do you guys wanna do? Let's do biggest fish, cause there's two of us. Okay, all right, that's fair. So Colby and Neil, guys, I mean, these guys already caught, you guys got a four pounder this morning, right, before four, I got here? three twos, yeah. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, <laughs> but if I have a speed worm tied on, I still gotta catch my first fish of this year. Should be a good time, so hopefully, I'll be able to compete. It'd be embarrassing for me to come out here. You know, I fish pretty much every day and get smoked so i'll try my best we'll see how it goes i'm just pumped to fish here literally this lake is five minutes away from where i grew up and i can never fish it because it's private so i'm glad you guys gave me permission today <laughs> guys i'm pumped i'm bringing my a game we're loading the kayaks and the boats in right now see if i can take the dub home first fishing challenge honestly i'd be pumped if anybody caught anything it's pretty cold out here yeah really cold so whoever wins wins i hope i do but as long as we're catching fish i'm having a good time on a new lake should be a lot of fun i brought the whole tackle box by the way i might switch it up on them might not be throwing the speed worm the whole day maybe we'll throw top water in 40 degree weather who knows we'll see oh no oh it looks like a nice one too ah oh, geez oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oh, snap <laughs> He looks like a two pounder, but like he's skinny a little. You want to win? Yeah. And they're never skinny in here. Guys, one and a half. half. <laughs> exactly. Guys, Neil just caught our first fish, one and a half pounder. So, right, so far we're in the lead. All right, guys, we are here at the juiciest pond. Boat is all loaded up, ready to go. It is. It's game time. We are fishing against the best 13 and the best 14 year old fishermen in my whole entire city, probably. They're up there in the ranks of probably the best fishermen in the state. And then there's me. So it's going to be interesting. We all got worms tied on. We all got chatterbaits tied on. Maybe I'll have to make a switch up here. Palm looks awesome. Neil's already started fishing. I need to get the boat in the water. Get ready to go. All right, guys. We're out here. I hope you guys know I'm bringing my A game. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not losing without a fight. There's water flowing in this drain right here, guys. Saucy spot to start out. I just got to catch the biggest fish. That's all I got to do. I'm nervous. You guys pretty much have nothing to lose. You beat me, it's cool. It's on my YouTube channel, but if I lose, it's embarrassing. I got a lot of pressure on me. I gotta bring it home for the Narmi, you know? I really hope you guys don't beat me, but it could it could happen. 
<laughs> there you go. Oh wait, I got one. Oh yes, yes. Please don't be big. I don't know. I don't know. He. Oh no, he's small. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, it gets me on the board though. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Dude, that was actually my first cast. I switched it up to a uh, to a watermelon seed speed worm because my tail on the June bug one came off. First cast on the watermelon seed because I lost the June bug ones and it worked. That's not gonna put me in the lead, but that at least gets me on my bo on the board. That's my first fish of 2021. Little uh, chunky one pounder. Boom! There we go. Dude, that's a chunky fish too. They're healthy out here. Group plunk. Dude, this is a joke. I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna fish all this, like... Oh, I got one. Got him. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's another squeak though. You guys are lucky. You guys are lucky the vegans aren't biting. Jeez, I need to back off this spot. Guys, right over here, that's my second fish in this little spot. Put this boat in reverse. <laughs> I mean, mine aren't but like a pound or less. And I gotta be one five on the scale. That's not even worth weighing really, but I'm just happy to be getting bites. Getting on the board here, finally. Boom. That one's way smaller than my first fish, but still a fish nonetheless. Awesome, I will take it. I have a little trick up my sleeve too, guys. So I'm gonna put the Texas rig down for now. I have a plan which may or may not work at all. So it's talking with Colby. They said they'd never thrown a jerkbait out here and it looks like a jerkbait could work, but obviously we have no clue. And I think I'm gonna try tying it on. It really is just a one fish game. So even if I get one fish to bite a jerkbait, maybe it could be bigger than a pound and a half. I should figure out which one I wanna use. I think I got like a little four to six foot diver in here that I was actually slaying them on in like a video a week ago. We're gonna go with one of these right here. And if there's any crappie or bluegill or anything in here, might be able to get munched by some of those too. That would be a lot of fun. Dude, Colby's over there in his own little world. He's just sitting there flipping trees. All right guys, now that I'm all alone, I can kind of talk about strategy, so. What I'm doing, they're all over there. Neil's kind of directing them in a way I've never caught a fish, so. Neil's kind of directing them in a, in a, like a detour route while I fish this bank. I'm gonna fish this bank, cause this is my money spot, guys. I always catch fish on this bank every time I'm here. It's definitely a numbers pond, but we want that big in. We want the big in. He's gonna be mixed up in this num in these numbers soon, so. We're gonna get us a load of a big in soon, so. Let's do it, let's make it happen. They're going to my secret spot. So I need to come kind of fish beside him, cause I don't need him taking away those fish. There's a couple big ins that I've always hooked over here every time. I haven't always landed them, but there's definitely some big ins that sit over here. What is he doing right there? He's got to see something. Oh, do I have one? Or what's going on here? Oh, I might have just had a fish. That was kind of weird. You know, my line just looked like it was moving, but maybe it wasn't moving. Oh, I, I do have one right here. <laughs> yes, let's go. They just keep on getting smaller. <laughs> Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Why? That counts. I caught, I've caught three, but he definitely wasn't big. Guys, I'm catching fish. I just need to catch something big. <laughs> I got to beat that three pound mark, which apparently I've never fished here before, but there is some, some big ones in here. So that's what I'm trying to do is just, I mean, I've been catching them. I just got to get lucky, have a big one swim by it and eat it. I feel like I'm pretty good right here too. Casting in uh, all this deep water gets about 10 foot according to Neil, so it's cold outside. Those fish should be hanging out down there. It's just a matter of time before I drag one in front of a, a big bass. It just depends on if the bass wants to eat it or not today. So we'll see. Neil's already cranked a, a three pounder doing the same exact technique that I'm doing right now. And Colby's up there flipping like docks and trees. I've, I'm scared about Colby. I don't think Colby's caught anything yet, but this is a one fish game. So all Colby has to do is catch one bigger than three and he wins. Oh, I got another one. Oh, geez. He got me hung up. Dude, this might be big. Oh, no. He's just wrapped on a tree, dude. What the heck, man? Oh, I caught him and the tree. Oh, <laughs> dude. I thought for a second because I knew it was 100% a bite and I felt that weight. I was like, there is no way this fish is this big. And of course, in a big fish tournament, I'm catching up in numbers. Maybe we're even tied in numbers, I don't know. Maybe I'm winning in numbers, but size, they are not giving it to me today. There we go, another small one. That's all right though. <laughs> I've, just, I've just been sitting here, my trolling motor is not working. So I'm just hanging out. So Neil and I, since I've got here, he caught a few fish before I got here. 
We're tied four to four in numbers, but Neil has caught significantly bigger fish than me on the same exact lure. I need to get some luck going. My first trip in 2020, I can't lose. Or I mean, I can, but I don't want to. The battery is now dead, so it is a paddling mission. Oh no! Dude, what the heck? <laughs> it's actually like not a bad one either. All I need is one big and that's all I need. It changed my day right now. One big girl. Well guys, time is running up. I've caught four, Neil's caught five, Colby has caught one, but still one fish game. That's how it always is with the biggest fish. I've seen bait fish blowing up at this mat over here. It's kind of like my last stretch. I've just been, ooh, I thought I had one. No, we're good, okay. I've just kind of been going up and I'll let the wind push me back down. Fishing the bank, fishing out deep. Uh, dragon worms is just like literally one of the only things you can do this time of year. We still caught a lot of fish though. We've caught 10, right? Five, four, yeah, we've caught 10 fish here in like under an hour. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. We even went a little like bonus overtime and I still lost. I think I caught four fish today. Congrats to you guys for taking the dub. Uh, actually, we didn't even have like any rules like for who won or something. I have like a box of soft plastics you guys saw in the back of my truck. Yeah. So like, you guys can just grab some lures out of it. Actually? Yeah, whatever you guys think awesome. is cool. It's actually weird too, because a lot of times in my videos, I'm the one laying into them, and whoever I'm fishing with isn't as much. No, <laughs> no shade thrown, no names dropped. Some people are just more unlucky than me when we go fishing. It was a weird switch of pace to be outfished in one of my videos, which I was definitely outfished today, which was an awesome and sad experience at the same time. 2021 though, started on a good note. I caught four fish, I'll take it. I'm happy with that, wish they were bigger. But uh, that will leave the rest of the year. If we caught like a 12 pounder today, the rest of the year would just stink. Like we need to build our way up and we did it perfectly today. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, anything to make this video do better. And until the next fishing adventure, Fishbowl, I'm out of here.